Welcome to Thursday, the 11th of January, and navigating your day. Eleven in Jinchen Jitsu came into the universe meaning justice or getting rid of excess baggage. Now, my understanding of justice in this instance is not about making someone pay for something that they did or beating ourselves up for something that we did or rewarding someone for something that they did that we thought was good or rewarding ourselves for something that we did that we thought was good. It is about seeing the balance. It's about appreciating that justice means that everything is already taken care of. The balance has been maintained. So in essence, you cannot have support without challenge, which means that when you do something to someone else that you perceive as being purely challenging, in other words, I did a bad thing because I hurt their feelings, if you are uh, offering that challenge, then someone else is offering the support. It's part of the balance order of the universe. Um, and it's the same when you do something amazing. When you do something amazing or you think something amazing about someone else, then there will always be someone or a number of people that are doing the opposite because the balance of support and challenge is always being maintained. So when we feel, um, when we feel guilty because someone's being too kind and we're not seeing where the balance is being maintained, then we feel bad. When we feel ashamed because we've done something and we're not seeing where the balance is maintained, then we feel bad. Um, and so this is not about, this is not about having, well actually, if we understand this, it takes the pressure of having to get even off us. And 11 is a sacred spiritual number. My understanding of the 11 in this context is that it enables us to get a God's eye view of the divine order of the universe. Now here's the problem. Our lower mind and our animal nature and our natural tendency is not to see this. This is something that needs to be learned and it needs to be practiced and it's hard. It's not simple. But when you get this, when you are freed from the notion that there has to be justice extracted some other way, then you truly are freed and your burdens lightened. So I hope that you can at least connect to a smattering of that today. So 11 is a 2, and 2 is about nurture, and 2 is about appreciating the balance. Oh, sorry, just back to safety engine lock 11. Getting rid of excess baggage. Excess baggage is nothing more than thinking you're absolutely amazing because you're such a good person. That weighs just as heavily on you because you're under so much pressure to maintain that. Or the excess baggage of you're such a horrible person. Or the excess baggage about however many people have ever screwed you over, betrayed you, lied you, hurt your feelings, whatever in your life. So safety energy lock number 11, when it is open, it helps us release our excess baggage. And safety energy lock 11 is located right here on the top of the shoulder where most of us have a lot of tension. Well, that's because we have a lot of baggage. And you can harmonize safety energy lock 11 by just putting your hand over your shoulder and making a ring with your thumb and your ring finger on the same side. You can do it on this side as well, obviously. Um, right, so two is about balance. It's about nurture. The route to the life map today goes two, one, two. So we've got lots of water with the air, with the air in the middle. And we, because we've got the two twos, they are about nurturing. So the two from the 11 of the day is about a spiritual kind of nurture. It's what is you? what are you doing to nurture your spirit? Are you listening to the call of your soul? Are you listening to your heart? Are you in touch with your emotions? Are you following your heart or are you allowing yourself to be followed by what other people want? Or are you listening only to your head? Today is a day that we can get in touch with, we can ask those questions and we can expect to actually get some of those answers. The one from January obviously is more a thinker and an analyzer and that's about in the head. That's where we plan and we think and we externalize into the world. And then we've got the two of 2018 which is also a water number and again it's about emotion. So some of us might be quite emotional today. Some of us might find that our emotions are extremely blunted today. Today is an opportunity to connect with what does your heart want today. And you know what, don't make this what does your heart want for the rest of your life. You're not going to find that out today. Just today. What's going to make your heart sing today? Maybe singing in the shower, maybe dancing to a song on the radio, maybe listening to beautiful music in your car, maybe having a meditation. I don't know. What's going to make your heart sing today? It's individual and personal to you. So we really can connect to that. There's no earth in the life map at all today, so we have to watch out for not being grounded, okay? Because the hero today is a five, and that's another air number. And the five in this position helps us to adapt. It helps us to adapt to different ways of thinking. It helps us to adapt. It makes us flexible so that we can adapt to different ways of seeing the world. 
Oh, I've got a whining dog here in the background driving me mad because he hasn't gone for the run. Um, it is about being inventive, the five, the hero. It's about being inventive. It's about um, excitement. It's about what makes your heart sing, right? What's going to make your blood pump? What's going to get your adrenaline going and what's going to excite you? It's also an air number, so it's highly analytical, very in the head. So there's no water, um, no, there's no earth, remember? So we've now, so far we've only got water and air, and in fact the villain is also a water number. So it's very important that we ground ourselves today, that we don't get swamped by these waves of emotions. So it's all good and well to be in touch with your emotions, it's all good and well to feel the feelings, it's all good and well to, um, to open your heart, to connect to your heart, but be careful about being swamped, right? Or having this, this tussle between the head and the heart, and the head and the heart. And what happens is, when we have a conflict between the head and the heart, then the will is caught in the middle. And then we don't, we can't take action. We feel paralyzed. So grounding ourselves is really important today. I've said this about a hundred times. Walk on the beach barefoot. Walk on the lawn barefoot. Lie on the grass. Lie on the ground. Um, root vegetables. Do an earthing meditation where you visualize the energy of your body extending through your feet into the ground, right down to the center of the earth. It will help to anchor you and it will help to pull you down in a good way. Um, vegetables uh, such as root vegetables, cooked food, proteins, uh, grass-fed animal proteins, eggs, uh, legumes, nuts, those are all grounding foods that help to keep us, our feet on the ground as it were. And so that will help to keep us practical because practicality might fly out the window a bit today. The villain today is the seven and when we have the seven in the villain position, then we are... Um, we're terrified of being embarrassed. We're also scared of the future and we feel as if we don't have a spiritual core to hang on to. So luckily, it's an 11 day, right? Which is a sacred spiritual number so we can actually connect to that energy um, that is bigger than we are and that can bring us comfort. Sevens also um, in this position, in the villain position, are terrified of losing faith. So they will stick to their guns, they will stick to their beliefs, and they will not put themselves out there. They will not open their hearts. They will not make themselves vulnerable because they're terrified that that's going to make them look stupid. So we need to guard against that today. Safety engine lock number 11. Remember, you can hold 11 and you can make a ring with your thumb and your ring finger. Or you can simply hold your index finger, harmonizing your kidney and bladder organ function energy, the water element in your body, and releasing subconscious fear. I've gone a little bit over time today. I'm sorry if you could hear the whining dog. Uh, I'm going to go and lie on the lawn for five minutes to just ground myself. I hope you have an amazing day, and I'll see you again tomorrow.